Welcome to Sally's Pet Corner. This is Sally and she's the host of this show. Each episode we're going to be featuring a special pet from Hopkinton and um, uh, my name is Nancy Draw, also known as Punky, and I'm actually her assistant. So uh, the first time that we have a very special guest, our very first one this week is Charlene and her dog, PJ. Hi, how are you? Hey. This is PJ, and Sally and PJ are actually neighbors. They're very good friends. They know each other very well. And um, But Charlene, we have some questions about PJ. Cause oh, sure. We wanted to know... How did you go, we knew, I know you had another dog previously, mm -hmm. but how did you go about getting PJ? PJ, let's see. Um, well, our other dog had passed away, a little pumpkin, which everybody in town knew. And um, I guess we really missed not having a, a little dog. So we um, acquired PJ, I think it was about in February, and uh, he was a puppy, a little puppy. And he's been with us now for almost a year. He'll be a year old um, I think in about two days. And it's um, his birthday. Sally, it's almost PJ's birthday. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, because PJ and Sally, Sally kind of she wasn't quite sure about PJ at first because she wasn't she kind of because she knew Pumpkin really right. well. But how did you come out with the name PJ? PJ. Well, my brother's name is Peter, mm -hmm. <laughs> and of course, having Pumpkin. We just said P and a J, like Pumpkin Junior. Oh, that's Jr. really cute, <laughs> right? Yeah, he looks so cute today. He's from Kansas City originally, and was brought on a truck here, so we really should have named him Casey instead of PJ. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so now after all the years of how old was Pumpkin? Uh, he was ten years old. So after all the years of having an, an older dog, how was it now having? A, how was it dealing with a puppy? A puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's see. I'll tell you, I've never raised a puppy before or had a puppy. I've tell you a couple of things that has happened in my home with this dog. I've got a pair of glasses now that are broke. Oh. These are the little things that he has gone into. If anyone's ever thinking of getting a, getting a puppy, well, what I've lost is five pairs of glasses that have been um, chewed on, <laughs> the glasses out two toilet brushes, one box of SOS pads I came home to, they were all over the place, two hair brushes, and all the little combs, the little in the hair brushes were all over the place, like little needles. He destroyed his own dog brush, one large wicker basket. How many leashes? Because I know he... Leashes, at least between four and six leashes. So now you just go and get the like dollar leashes. I, I get the dollar store leashes. Stuff, yeah. Uh -huh. because I got a beautiful, beautiful harness from him and a matching um, uh, collar and the, the vest and everything. Yeah, the yeah. vest, uh -huh. the whole nine yards, and he ripped and tore everything up. So that's that's it for, for him. He's, um, Does he get he's, into, now he can, now see, she's so much smaller than him, but she can't jump up on tables and anything. So can he... He, can he jump up higher? Like you oh, have to put he can away. jump on tables. He's knocked over vases with water with flowers in them. <laughs> See, I don't, ha I don't have to deal with that because she's so little. She yeah. can't jump up on things like that. So, so. Um, I never had to deal with <laughs> her getting into anything. Yarn, when she was a puppy, she got yeah. into yarn. Does he get into, like, um, your, your, um, does he hey. bite on wood or anything? Or? Oh, he bites um, books, magazines, wicker baskets, the corner of furniture, you name it. Yeah, bedspread. <laughs> Batal, you name it. Is he, like, how hard was it to, is it housebreaking him? After, um, like, you know, you're used to having a dog that, I know, didn't have a problem with him. No. But my vet had a problem that I was using those puppy pads. Oh. She said, no puppy pads. He has to go, learn to go outside. So I didn't have any difficulty with that. So. So how did he do? He's, he's doing okay now with, um. Yeah, with, he's um, doing great. Mm -hmm. He's, he's good. He's. Likes all his little friends in his neighborhood, keeps himself busy. Yeah, because in our neighborhood there's lots of little dogs. Lots of little, little dogs. Little small yeah. dogs. So, um, but it's nice that Sally and PJ, Sally, see you live right near PJ around the corner. So she's very used to seeing PJ walk around all the time now. Yeah. And, um, oh, yeah, I know. Uh, we have lots of, lots of friends in the neighborhood. And what about his barking? Because I know that's another Consistent. story, right? Yes. Consistent. UPS trucks. 
um, well, the it's male a, it's, man. Well, it's stereo because you're the, when when Sally when the, the mailman comes, Sally and PJ, one's on one end of the neighborhood, this one's on the around the corner, so they're both barking, and it's like stereo it's, with it anybody really who walks by. It is. Thank goodness, Joe. It, his you know, hearing just, isn't that well. So he doesn't. Yeah, right, because right. there's like four of us right there with mm -hmm. all dogs. Yes. In that, so anywho. So he's um. But so, how long did it take for you to get used to having a puppy around? Did it oh, I'm gonna say just, um, it took a little while. Did yeah, it? yeah, it took a little while. There was a lot of a lot of work in raising a puppy, an awful lot of work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, I know because I mean I don't really remember. She's Sally is um, almost six, so it's been a long time since she's been a puppy. Um, but I, she's the very first, the first dog I've ever owned, and um, so it was a, it was a life changing. Oh, you know, yeah. for me, but I remember, do you remember when I first got her? Yes, and I, I was do. like, what, what did I <laughs> what get did myself I do? into? But it didn't take long to think, what would I do without her? I know. You See, know? that's how I feel. Yeah, and he's yeah. so cute and loving anyway. So. Yes, he's a lovable um, little dog. Yeah, he the really only thing he hasn't ripped up is his blanket that his our friend Kate made for us. It's the only thing he hasn't ripped up. It's really cute. Yeah. She did the cute, cute? little dog bone. Sally, you yeah. like that one? Huh? Do you? So, so what? Okay, so what's the best part about having PJ? What's the best qualities? And I think, um, I think, just being there, and maybe if I'm watching TV at night, he lays his little head on my lap. Is um, it's cozy, you know? That you know, he needs me to help him, you know, to get outside and leash him up and take him for walks and and uh, feeding him and that. You no, know, he's fun. It's not a chore. It's he's fun. It's not you a know, chore anymore. At right. first, it's like at oh, first it was by, really by goodness, tough. right? Uh -huh. It was yeah. really tough. It doesn't take long though to just you know to Is just it? fall in love with these little guys. And uh, yeah, but I know Anyways. he's so much bigger than um, you know to have a bigger. He's probably twice the size. Yes, as, uh, as your other dog. Yeah. Yes, as pumpkin. So it's different, but and he's but he's different personality too. Yes, right? completely. He's very very friendly. Very very lovable. You know, you can, um, you know, you can just hold him all the time. He's just good. He's a good, good dog. But he's a puppy still. He's still a puppy, so he's, yeah. he's they, coming they out of that for, phase. Yeah, she sometimes she, she's going to be six, but sometimes she acts like she's a, she's a little puppy. Well, she's, she's a, a barker. So. She's a little queen. Do you like your new show, huh? This is your show. So you're going to be the host every every episode. You're going to meet a new animal. Oh, a new wow. a special animal from Sally, Hopkinton. Sally, you're lucky. You and are. today your very best friend is on. Is that, is that pretty special? <laughs> hmm? um, so um, how does he do at night and everything? Does he? Good. He sleeps well. Does he? Yeah. yeah. He just, yep. I have a little pallet for him. He crawls on the pallet and he just sleeps right on my bed. And that's a good boy. That's it. See? Yeah, he's a good he boy. Wakes me up in the morning. You a good boy, huh? Do you like He's being on the show? He's my alarm clock. Huh? This is your first show. And the people in Hopkins, and you know, I think are really animal lovers. Most people, and yeah. really have enjoyed well, them. It's funny because State Park and no, it's Sally. Like uh, Sally's on Facebook a lot, and um, I put a lot of pictures on her, so people kind of you know, know her. And they don't when they see me, they don't ask how I am. They say, "How Sally?" How Sally? You know, so that's why we thought this would be nice for her to have her own little show, <laughs> and she can introduce the the um the little stars of Hopkinton. Yeah. And um, that um. PJ is definitely one of the Hopkinton stars, right. um, but he hasn't seen winter yet, so it'll be no, different. No, this will he... be the first year with winter. This will be really fun. Yeah, because she doesn't really like... appreciate because he was a puppy. That's right. He... Yeah, he was real tiny. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. he didn't want to go out, and he couldn't go out, and he was afraid. Yeah, yeah. He, I bet he'll like the um, the snow. Does he like the water? Oh yeah, he loves the water. Yeah. Does he? Yeah, he enjoys that. Yeah. Water. And, he's a good um, little guy. So he's going to be—he's going to have a birthday in two days. Can yeah. you believe it? He's going to be a year, and Sally's going to be six in December. Can you wow, can, can you believe it's been a long? That it feels years. like it was just yesterday that you that bought I was her. Like, crying. What am I going to do with her? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, so, well. Anywho. Um, so anyway, well, I'm so thankful you could be here. We're, we're happy well, we're to happy have you too. as our very first guest, and thank you so much for being part of Sally's Pet Corner. And um, we also like to thank the, um, the Hopkinton viewers for watching us. And if you have a star, a pet who's a star, and would like to be on Sally's Pet Corner, you can, uh, you can see how to get in touch with HCAM at the credits. And uh, we would love to have you 
and Sally would love to meet any kind of pets, whether it's a dog or a cat or a gerbil or if you have a python, oh, that's okay too, I don't care, um, or um, a chinchilla or, you know, a, as long as like turtles, the, the turtles, anything. If you have a pet ant, hey, that's fine. Sally would be happy to host, and we'd love to meet your star pet of Hopkinton. Thank you. Mm -hmm.